2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. It's time to get underway, so let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, what's on the minds of these players today? Look, at the end of the day, these players want one thing and one thing only. That's their Corn Ferry Tour card. And to do that, they need to finish up in the top 50 at the end of the event. Can't wait to see what unfolds. And let's see what he can do here today. Not bad. Second shot here on the first. And here we are with the third shot. Very crafty, that shot. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Starting the round at even par. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. He's currently tied for 13th. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Players want to take out any club, driver three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score to hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. Well struck. Playing from around 230 yards. Going with the five iron here. This one might roll into the rough.
Henny, how's that ball lying? Oh, no. This is nasty. Just no. This would be a great up and down. Well, that'll play, and that will move him up the leaderboard as well. And let's have another look at that one. Beautifully judged. Great tempo on this chip. Currently one under for the day. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. A split green here. It is difficult to make birdie twos, but par threes should be had. Going with the hybrid. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Good shot there. Outside chance here for the birdie. Was on a good line. No, oh, that's too bad. And this one is for his par. This looks good. Oh, just missed. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And unfortunately, dropping back to even par there. The fourth at TPC Boston Rich, a great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. Yep, that'll work, that's fine. Players setting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. Ah, that's a tad unlucky. They could have got out. Time now for the fourth shot. Three strokes off the lead.
This putt is from 14 feet. Okay, steady now. Just three feet to the cup. And there it is. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Next up is this par four hole. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 155. What a drive that was. F1, watch out. Going with the 9 iron, I think. That a boy. Good shot. It's been a bit of a struggle on the greens. Hopefully, he can change it here. This is their look at birdie. Right by the hole. That'll sting a bit. A par putter waits. That gets the job done. Currently at two over par. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Bunkers down the right hand side are a nuisance. The pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. Well played, mate. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Wow, that one was a fairway splitter. That one should find the surface. That's a great shot into birdie range here at the sixth. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. And that will drop in for birdie. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Ooh, I like this. The cover's coming off the big dog. Time to let it loose. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here, because birdies will be had by the big hitters. The lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. Nicely done. Getting ready to play their third. Four strokes off the lead. Choosing the nine iron here. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. 
Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. That was a gallant attempt. Putting for a par here. That gets the job done. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Par three in a diabolical green, to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side, and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. I don't know if they meant to do that. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Ooh, that almost went down. This putt for par here. Looking good. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Four feet to the cup. This is what they have left for bogey. And there it is. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left, will not come into play and this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Looks like this one's hitting safely for the fairway. Playing from around 160 yards. Going with the eight iron here. They're yeah, not a bad shot, that one. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 22 feet from the cup. Go to your home ball. Go to your home. Oh, what a big putt to make that one. Trailing by six shots after that hole. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Par four, this hole plays so much more difficult than the yardage. Water to the left of the green, bunkers surrounding it on both sides. Find the fairway, you'll have a good look at making birdie. You miss the fairway, good luck. Fours, fives, and sixes come into the equation. Pretty good shot there. Sitting at one over. Opting for the nine iron. Yeah. 
No harm, no foul there with that shot. A spot in the top 20 awaits if they can make this part. Like the look of this one. And down it goes. So that's back to back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. And with that now, back to level par. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. We have a par three on this one. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. A bit wild on approach there. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. An opportunity to make a par here. Oh, what a stroke. Ah, that's frustrating. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Well, at least it wasn't a double. Now six strokes back after that hole. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Par four, 510 yards. It is a brute. Those bunkers down the right-hand side are a natural attraction for wayward golf balls. Second shot is down the slope. A big, deep, gaping bunker on the right-hand side will also find its fair share of golf balls. All in all, just a tough hole, to say the least. Playing from around 210 yards here. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. It's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. And here we are with the third shot. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. An important par save. Ouch, that hurts. Just a short putt remaining here. And down it goes for consecutive bogeys. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. Sitting at a couple over for the day. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Tee shot up the hill to a blind landing area. Second shot is to a green that is surrounded by a cavern of bunkers. If you miss all those and find the green in two, then you'll have a decent look at a birdie three. 
Oh, absolutely flushed. From about 130 yards here. And he's hit that inside the range. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Oh, so close. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I got to say, it is a difficult par four, and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. Uh, great shot. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par 5 for the locals. A converted par 4 for the tournament, Rich. And it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Luke. That did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Wow. That was handy holding out from there. And a chip in, Luke, just what the doctor ordered. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. This shot was absolutely perfect. Looks just as nice on the second viewing. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Par four, and a fun little par four at that, just 421 yards from the back. Fairly generous fairway, but a green that can provide some entertainment as there's some different swales in the green and your golf ball can go a wandering if you're not careful. Nicely done. Sitting at plus one. That's a little wayward. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Well, you like the look of those hands. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Now five strokes behind. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Watch out for this green. There's a large shelf on the right-hand side. If it's up there, good luck getting it close. And whatever you do, don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's just a bad shot. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know.
that's disappointing. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. There it is. Currently at plus one for the day. You've arrived at a par four. Dog leg from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them and find this sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind. Well, Rich, the 17th hole at TPC Boston, I think the most important thing is positioning your tee shot so you can get a clear look at the green here. A very narrow green actually bisected in two by Santa Claus's belly, thus the size of it. Find the right level, you have a birdie opportunity. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Not taking enough club to get it there. And he's down there. You got a read? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. This is on a stupendous line. Beautiful shot. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC Boston can be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Well, I think they're attacking this one, taking it on in two. I like their style. Going with the five wood. Yeah, disappointing not to find the surface, Rich, but I like that play. Didn't that look good for a long time? And here we are with their four. Almost went in the hole. And this putt coming up for his par. And with that, this player will finish the Q School final and gain a ticket to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. Congratulations to them. Rich and I will certainly be following their career with great interest. Absolutely, Luke. They have locked down their Corn Ferry Tour card. Keep your eye on this player. They're going places. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.